Hey, how are you guys doing? So uh, some of you might have seen this already, but we're going to talk about the news that this thing called the School Idol Musical and exactly what the heck is this? So first and foremost, I'm sure some of you are going to ask, well, is it that VTuber thing? Where's and if not, what the heck happened to it? Well, well hey, I I'm still assuming it's a thing coming at some point, but it's kind of like the Love Life stuff has been completely... Left us in the dark about it, so as far as we know, I see the problem. we don't know much yeah. about it. So what is the school out of musical thing then? Is this kind of like a high school musical kind of thing? And, well, I mean, that was by Disney, and I know people po po poke a love light for some of the Disney similarities that it has. And you, when you special think some songs special, like with Mia, you think, yeah, that's kind of high school musical-like. So it's going to be something like that. Well, first and foremost, we're going to be looking through this image, and yes, in Japanese, this is some quick port translations by Google Translate, and we're going to go ahead and discuss and what it says and whatnot. So we're going to start the right side. This is getting a little better view of it. Not much here. You can see things like staff and whatnot, and the comments of some of the producers and when it's going to be done. So you can kind of get an idea of who's involved. We know that Bandai is going to be involved. So yeah, they're going to go block you if you probably talk about this, to be honest. And of course, probably one of the more important things we get to see is the schedule of where this is happening and when. So it's going to be late this year, December, and early next year in January. And it's going to happen in those two locations, you know, like an actual musical. So if you're curious, what is it possibly about? So here's just a synopsis of what it's talking about. And you're saying there's two traditional schools that are located in Hyogo and Osaka Kansan, Kansai and one we have these girls with the Taki Zakura Joga Kun and I mean the basic gist is that there's going to be two traditional schools and they have daughters that of the uh, the presidents of the schools and they're basically have to kind of compete so as far as i can tell it's a tradition a new story from love live but it's still love live but it's going to be in a musical form so if you're wondering is this going to be like a musical for like aqua or muse or something like no it looks like this is going to be a new story in new locations so many new girls of course as traditional for musicals there's going to be new songs and it's going to be performed in a musical like structure so, of course, there's going to be an adaptation of the Love Life style, but, you know, Love Life itself is kind of like a musical, almost. You know, I, I, I'm not going to say it is, but you could definitely feel how some moments can be like that, you know, how they sporadically jump into a song. That happens in Love Life, kind of. And there are songs in Love Life that definitely feel like a musical. I mean, especially if you think about, say, like, Chica's solo songs. It's kind of very Broadway-esque. And guess what happens in Broadway? Musicals. So, they definitely have done songs like that. So, I would definitely look to see stuff like that. This is not out of Love Life's realm whatsoever. So, I can see why they had that kind of idea. I don't find this to be surprising, honestly. As, you know, this is something that definitely can be very much in Love Life's realm. So it seems like, I know I don't know if it's right to call it like a new project, because I guess when they use the word project, it's a pretty broad term, because sometimes when they say new project, it could just be a set of songs. It might be an MV, or heck, it might be like a new project, school project. So I don't know. The way I kind of see it is this, this might just kind of be that interesting one-off that happens. And... You know, depending on how well it does, they might expand this more. Or heck, maybe they'll give it anime adaptation to a musical. Because I guess why not? Because, you know, Nijigaku itself wasn't meant to get an anime. But since it became so popular, it got an anime. And, you know, it has got its game. So this is just seems to be another sector of Love Live that's probably trying to grab the musical fans into Love Live. And, that, you know, that definitely caters to a different audience. And that's kind of the way I see it probably being as Love Life trying again spreading out and grabbing more sectors anything that could be possibly related to music so of course that other project we talked about would be tubers or at least that's something like that or at least online streaming focus they're trying to grab that sector of the audience and then here they can grab the 
musical sector of audience. So people who just like musicals and necessarily don't really care about anime or that kind of sort, maybe they're trying to grab that sort. And now it means we're going to have another, yet another set of girls for Love Light. And this is getting a lot to keep track of. But they only have two showings. They did not mention anything past that. Or if there's going to be more musicals or more musicals of different plots. Maybe they will keep going with this one. But, you know, I'm not sure what exactly is going to happen to this afterwards. Because we never had something like this. But, you know, if it becomes popular enough, it might just be expanded to more. And maybe it'll get an adaptation. That would be kind of interesting but i guess not out of the realm of possibility but it's definitely it's it's definitely odd and very interesting the story made me kind of when i first read through the synopsis i was kind of thinking like i almost feel like romeo and juliet almost you know they kind of have the two separate sectors and they're all like fighting each other two factions and then we have we have the children of the leaders and Maybe they don't want to fight, or maybe they do want to fight, I don't know, but that's kind of what I'm getting just and you know, I'm sure there's a Romeo and Juliet musical out somewhere. Yeah, but that's that's more or less what I'm currently thinking about, what this might be, and, and how they might utilize this in the future, or it could just potentially just be that one thing they do once, and they never do it again, and it'll be like, hey, did you know, kind of fact. Or like, did you know Love had a musical? And here's some of the girls and songs in there. And they never did it again. Weird stuff, right? Or maybe it starts out like that. But then they expand it even more. And there's just a lot of Love, love Light girls. That would be definitely interesting. But, you know, especially if it never reaches the animated format. So we'll have to see who are the people going to be doing it. And they will be singing, obviously. And we'll see if they ever get recorded versions of the songs or if it'll just be kind of a live musical format only. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to think how this goes. But let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. What do you want out of this? I'm sure some of you don't care about this whatsoever. And I'm, I'll be optimistic about this. I never really cared that much about musicals. There's a few that I think were kind of alright. But, you know... I don't know if this really appeals to me per se, but hey, I guess I won't knock it until I try it. And we'll see how we, we will be able to watch it. I guess we just have to watch a video recording of the musical because I can't go to Japan because Japan makes it impossible. Thanks, Japan. But let me know what you guys think about this. I'm curious what you guys want out of this and what you expect out of this and what do you think the future will be past this. If this is just going to be a one-off or you think it's going to develop into more... I think I'm going to lean to more that way, but that, I think that's really highly dependent on what the fans want and how well it does. But, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. And, of course, thank you for watching, and I hope to catch you guys in another video soon.